Hi everybody, we're back for our second joint video today. So what's going to happen with this one is we thought, we all know the Republicans are going to continue to support this inarticulate nutcase president until it affects the economy in a very real way. And they've got their stupid tax cuts through now, corporate welfare, they're prepared to give $1.5 trillion to the wealthiest 1%. What is that about? Um, but until something happens with the economy, they're going to continue to support Trump and his idiocy. So we thought we'd do a little reading. I'm going to do the cards this time and Dave's going to ask me a couple of questions about that. So uh, my first question, Lena, is about the world economy, the global economy. What do you see oh, yeah. happening there? I know we're going to give it the time frame of January 1st, 20, 2019. Next six months. Next or so six months or so. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, how to do the world, I think I might divide it into three short columns because I think we need to look at the EU, we need to look at the Middle East, mm. and we need to look at Asia because after that we'll then look at the US. So um, it won't be immensely detailed, viewers, only two cards each, but let's see what turns up. All right. Shall I turn this for you so we can see the layout? Oh, thank you. Sure. Oops. I lost oh. the cord there. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, the Middle East and Asia. Okay. I'm going to then, I'll hold them up for you individually, viewers. As we work through these, hopefully you got to see them. We're still experimenting, obviously, mm -hmm. with the technology that is sitting on a pile of books. <laughs> We're doing our best. Okay. So the first is the European economy collectively, which we recognise to be the EU. And, of course, they're having a lot of... Um, it's not an easy time for no, the EU. I would not say, and they're pretty isolated. Yeah. yeah, and also they're dealing with the hard right parties in their countries mm -hmm. that are going, we just want to be Italy, we just want to be Greece, mm -hmm. we just want to be... You know, so they're dealing with all the same issues and tensions. Um, but from what these cards are saying here, they're, all, uh, they're okay for now, right? They've got the celebration card. Um, this is also the card of weddings, meaning, in a general sense, bringing together of economies. So for now, and we're only talking about the next six months, they're looking pretty strong, mm. and the EU is going to hold together for now, which gives them bargaining power. You know, they still have a role to play. Now, with this, the Four of Cups... This is indicating there are some struggles going on now and down the track. So with this figure, um, cross-legged under a tree, you'll know from my other readings, viewers, this is someone being offered something that they don't want and have to swallow it. <laughs> so that would say to me in this context, in individual countries, people are, are saying we should get out of the EU, we should stay in the EU. People aren't entirely happy with the EU, but they're most likely to stay with it now. And any real economist in any of those countries would tell them, look, if you do fragment, if you could do go down that protectionist route, you're going to be weaker you know, as a mini economy. Okay. So now we're going off to the Middle East, and this is an interesting card. Um, again, it's a cups card, emotion, because a lot of these emotional um, sort of emotional tensions and anxieties get fed through the economy and get fed back from the economy. People are making emotional decisions instead of 
intellectual decisions. So now we're in the Middle East. This is a card of the cups, but it's one of those bridging cards that comes back to money. This is a very wealthy trader. I've said in past readings, this figure has reminded me a lot of a slave trader, a merchant trader who's done very well for themselves, selling their commodity. The figure is also open and closed. So you, if you look closely, you see that the knees are open and the arms are folded. Someone who plays both sides off against the middle. <laughs> right? So I think when I look at this reading as a whole, I'll say a bit more about that. They also have in the Middle East, underneath the merchant card, the moon. So this is a combination of hidden agendas and deception. So they have to be careful because you can imagine there's quite a lot. You have such phenomenal wealth in the Middle East, but also the profound chaos of lingering wars and conflicts. Mm -hmm. And the West does not have clean hands mm -hmm. when it comes to that. So there's a lot of confusion going on there. But what is coming out quite clearly is that the Middle East will be negotiating, the wealthiest of the Middle East will be negotiating madly to consolidate revenue so they're not just dependent on oil, right? So to be very careful, though, if you are dealing with particularly... Um, you've got arms deals as well, right? So big arms deals are going on in the Middle East as well as in the West. So one of the biggest sources of income for the UK is arms. But we don't hear about that. We don't. Do we, we want to point fingers, right. you know, at other countries. So you've got the Eric Princes in the US who are really um, arms dealers in suits. So I've put the Middle East in the middle, and it's for a reason, as you'll see when I get to the Asian economies, why they ended up in the middle. So now we're moving to Asia. And I have to say, before I just get into this little mini two-carder, the Asian economies are very diverse and they're very complex mm -hmm. in their own right, particularly China and the others. So I'm going to have to sort of push them together for the purpose of this. But these countries are all getting richer. We know this. The Queen of Pentacles, being a female card, is indicating a growth of money generally. These are not economies that are being run down. They're building up. And it's like in the West, we're fighting between ourselves in European countries and in Australia and in the US, and our economies are in a way dwindling. Mm -hmm and the Asian economies are expanding. And they're out there with the swords, quite ruthless, you better believe it. So this is the Asian economies take no prisoners card. This is about going forth doing whatever it takes. That's the message from this card. Whatever it takes to build an economy right and the politics will follow in other words they don't have to do the dance that we pretend to do in the west of caring about people mm -hmm. they don't have to be bothered with that and one more thing before i leave that card it's also the card of the spy so i'm seeing here industrial espionage going on here because that will lead to um particularly in the case of china immense wealth and that's part of the intellectual property theft right. instance. so whereas trump has stumbled on one aspect of what they do and has canned them they're not going to stop because of trump what would he know this is a man who ran three casinos into the ground like please spare me how, how can you run a casino <laughs> into a ground it's pretty much a money-making machine exactly so we know that donald isn't very good and once he's run out of his fingers he can't count above that. So they will be laughing 
at what is going on here. So just to sum up ever so briefly, you have the EU holding on, but just, it will have to, every six months I predict it will have to really, you know, be dealing with another crisis. You've got the Middle East who are playing both sides off against the middle. They're playing the West off against Asia and they will do business with anybody and everybody. And you have the tiger Asian economies that are going to continue in the same way. So what else would you like to ask? So I've got another question for you, Lena, mm. and that is uh, about the American economy, specifically about the stock market. So the real question, mm. again, we could put a six month, six month field on it. You know, mm. how, what will happen with the American stock market uh, and the American economy in the next six months? Mm -hmm. Is that a good question? It's not too broad? Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. That's yeah. Okay. Next six months, American economy uh, and specifically the stock market. Okay. So while I'm just tuning in with these cards again, viewers, No, wait, just do we forget? Oh, it is recording. Sorry, I was just having a moment. Okay, okay, no problem. Just having a moment. Just having a moment. We're all good. We're all right, viewers. <laughs> As you were. As you were. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a panic. Okay, so while I'm shuffling these, um, I was just going to say, I think this is a really important question. Like, other readers have read on the stock market generally. I've read on it fairly recently. But it's key. It's key. The Republicans will continue to support this chimpanzee in the Oval Office until it hits the bottom line. Yep. And they will also be looking to the stock market for a clue. Mm -hmm. And the stock market itself is a giant Ponzi scheme, isn't right. it, really? You right. know, what do they really trade and sell? Right. You know, What's the actual <laughs> value of the things? Yeah, when yeah. it goes up, or the value of what they're making, is it any better? Yeah. It's the same products. We're just evaluating the value of the product yeah. at a higher rate. So let's have a look at that. In the next six months, stock market, will it start to have an influence on the Republican stuff? It's a good mm -hmm. question. I yeah. Think. in the stock market. Let's have a little look here. Okay. Ready? Dave will show you as the cards go down. Uh -huh. Hang down. Not looking good. <laughs> That's not looking good. Uh, isn't it funny? Mm. Mm. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> Alright, viewers. Let me hold them up for you. The first cab off the rank is the hanged man, two meanings that I think have relevance here. My first instinctual, habitual reading is things are suspended for a certain amount of time mm -hmm. with the hanged man, right? So not making radical choices in the immediate short term. But there's also the element of sacrifice to the hanged man. Mm -hmm. And so there is going to have to be some extent of, of sacrifice. And um, I, tr I like to think that it's a willing sacrifice with the hangman in a way. So rather than people being forced um, to do something they don't want to do. Mm -hmm. And in a way, what's springing to my mind with this, Harley Davidson, as we all know this week, they took a hit from the Trump tariffs and then decided very quickly to, to, to make that announcement. Mm -hmm. They could stay around for five years if they wanted to and, and quietly mm -hmm. slip out and, and have some that things made. That was a statement. Yeah. It was a statement. Mm -hmm. I'm getting mm -hmm. Harley Davidson uh -huh. for this as yeah. a, a willing sacrifice. Okay, exactly. give me your worst, Trump. Mm -hmm. So symbolically, if you see how the cards work symbolically, mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting from that. There's going to be a couple of those willing sacrifices to expose what he is doing to save the bigger economy right. down the right. track. Right. That's what I'm feeling intuitively mm -hmm. that is talking about. Now, next we have 
the two of cups which is interpersonal relations that is good and kind okay so what is good and kind about what's going on I think that is people economically there's an element of trust going on here helping people through this difficult um, time with Trump going madder and madder for all sorts of other reasons right. in his life and under pressure this is I think voices of reason mm -hmm. it could be democrats and republicans who are speaking to each other it could be um, politicians and big corporations talking to each other behind the scenes saying let's just try and keep these channels open you know so this is if you like the voice of reason now there's going to have to be the voice of reasons because this is the rip-off card. <laughs> okay, it's the Seven of Swords. This is back to Trump and this is back to the crude corporate America, right. yeah. if you like. We're going to take whatever we can get out of this and we're going to bolt. Right. right. Very interesting to see. He's stealing the other swords. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's stealing everything. Okay, and there's a smile on his face. This right. is someone who loves stealing. This is not a desperate, hungry person. Mm -hmm. so this fun. is someone I can get away with. It's it. sport. It's sport. Mm -hmm. Ripping off people mm -hmm. is sport. So if you put these two together, what I'm seeing is there are two conversations going on mm -hmm. um, to do with corporate America and the stock market and this is the higher good this is people who think for the higher good mm -hmm. this is people who don't there's a tension going on seems like some are willing to make sacrifices yeah, yeah. Some <laughs> okay. people will. yeah. and so of course that is going on very much it's not that America is one thing it's not a homogenous mm -hmm. beast but there are those who are being decent and ethical and struggling to do the right thing and those who ain't. <laughs> right. Now, the outcome tells a story too. And the outcome here is this is somebody who cares leaving to save the family. So in this context, I take this to mean someone the higher good in a way wins they take hits from crude america who doesn't care about the other 99 percent there are going to be losses and pain with the swords but they're going to take the family the american family away to start again in a way with what gave the country the integrity from the beginning what is good about America and that isn't how they handled Native Americans it isn't how they handled slavery mm -hmm. it isn't about the myth of the Wild West it's about what was actually decent mm -hmm. don't you feel no, like so. Americans are innovators right yeah. and um, this is innovation to me it, it, in some senses I feel like it's positive that we will we will move forward after after yeah. And, the, yeah, and the swords are intellect, mm -hmm. okay, and imagination and innovation. They literally are those things. And here you have this guy taking things back to the 40s and this pseudo-protectionist, because he wants to be able to build a hotel in Mongolia or right. Beijing, right. but he wants you to stay at home in Arkansas. Right, right. Okay? So... Yeah. He wants to use workers from foreign countries, it, but and he does. doesn't want you to do that. But, <laughs> and he yeah. doesn't want to pay you. And he doesn't want to pay you. <laughs> exactly. So the hypocrisy and the backward-looking yeah. thing about Trump right. will be exposed, and America has to move forward and pride itself on its diversity. Exactly. And pride itself on the young people seeing mm. better right than and they're looking at now right and yeah. pride itself on the innovation and americans yeah. have always been innovators despite whatever right or wrongs we did we've always created and made new things that are good the for new people. things and, not um, the old yeah thing. what what happened to this what happened to this yeah. adventure that we were on 
Yeah, I think that's a good note to end on. I agree. Okay, guys, I hope you liked our joint videos. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.